Well, here we are in Rapid River. We got the 2010 Can-Am Renegade 800R XXC. We're going to go put it through its paces today and see how it runs on the trail. Anyway, here we go. We're getting ready to leave here from Rapid River. There's the trail. And we're going to hit down the road here. This thing has just got gobs of power, too. That V twin on this buggy is just excellent. Canham says that this machine's got 71 horsepower right from the factory. Got plenty of horsepower to lift the wheels off the ground. Plenty. Makes it nice going over these bumps. This is also the snowmobile trail in the winter time, so you can come up here on the sled. You can either go on uh, Snowmobile Trail 2, go all the way across the Upper Peninsula, all the way to uh, St. Agnes on this trail. Or you can cut up here and go all the way up to Munison 2, which is up by Lake Superior. So you get quite a few options for trail riding around here. Okay, this is 2231. You can go all the way out to Highway 13 on this road. I wonder where this road goes. Where we come out, nobody knows. This gorgeous out here. This is a beautiful little ATV trail. There's absolutely no traffic out here at all. This trail is all mine. We're gonna look for a section to be able to cut down and hit the road and go down and around going through this mud hole up here. Oops. Maybe I spoke too soon. Sometimes just taking it easy through those mud holes is a lot easier to do than gunning it too much. There's a lot of dirt roads that you can legally run on up here. Makes it kind of nice. And here we are. Junction 2231. Here we go. We're in the corner of 2235. Going to 2231. Go on the ATV trail. 8062. They did a really good job of cleaning this out and made it really nice. Before it was lots of stuff down over the trail and it was really narrow. Now you can come through here and pretty well come through here with a UTV if you want. Before it was kind of tight to do that. This power steering on this uh, KM Renegade. 800 air XXC is just awesome. Kind of nice to have this trail all to myself today. Look at that. One handed. Through the whoops. Not even an issue. Trees are starting to turn nice. Beautiful little trail, 
This again is out my back door. I can come down and ride this trail. It's about probably 20 minutes from my house to get here. One thing you gotta watch out for when you're running this trail, this kind of narrow, so if you do meet somebody coming the other way, you wanna be you wanna be careful. Yeah, this is a cool trail. Come through in the wintertime on your sled, it's a hero. Nice little spot up here. A little trail along there. It's probably some old camp back there. This is in the Hiawatha Forest, so. One thing I noticed about this new machine, it's not broken in yet, but uh, it sure does use a lot of gas, more so than the 09. And it's 71 horsepower right now, so. Gotta let that girl drink. Yeah, like I said before, you gotta watch out coming through this trail. It's tight. You wanna be just aware that this traffic may be coming the other way sometimes. You wanna be lulled into thinking that you're the only one on the trail, so. Let's keep an eye out for somebody coming around those corners. Some of them are pretty blind. I'm through here with my Yamaha Raptor and I gotta tell you the ride on the Scan M is so much nicer. I felt like my teeth were gonna rattle out on the, the Raptor. you really can tell the difference uh, sway bar versus no sway bar in this machine. I do notice a big benefit of having power steering. It just makes it just a dream to drive through this trail. It's absolutely no work. We're using the Vio POV 1.5 camera today on the helmet. Takes some pretty nice helmet shots. It uh, leaves your hands free to be able to drive, and it's just a really nice quality helmet cam. Yeah, look at the spot here. God's country. Look at those leaves. Perfect. As my buddy Dennis Fitzgerald from Constance, Ontario, would say, perfect. Perfect, hey? And here we are back on 2231 again. You go down a little ways, you go towards Ryan's camp. Oh, man.